I have really struggled with how to tell y'all what to tell you. And I still don't know. This year has been the, this year's been the hardest year of my life. And it's not over yet. Hey everybody and welcome back to Lining Up Ducks. I know it has been a minute or several since I've posted on my channel and there's a really good reason. You know that uh, in September we lost uh, our RV and everything in it to fire. And if, if that crazy on top of everything isn't enough, um, what you didn't know and you didn't see was that Scott and I were two months into the process of divorce. So there's a few changes that you'll see. I don't know what my posting schedule is going to be. I do know that I will start budget videos again um, this week. You're going to get to see from minute one me build, rebuild my financial life. Um, as, a, as a single mom, I brought you to my most, I brought you to the place that has been my sanctuary for the last several months. There are a few places on earth that I feel closest to God. And this is one of them. I didn't know where else to bring you, to tell you. Because my home is not a haven anymore. But it will be again. I cannot say thank you enough for the outpouring of love and support this channel is. When we released the news that we had lost everything in the fire, y'all were amazing. You can see me walking through this holy place in a pair of donated shoes. The fire has humbled me and my family. deeply humbled but it was also such a blessing such a beautiful blessing because we got to see God's love in action and got to see how much his community and his church reach out and take care of their own thank you Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone that donated to the GoFundMe page. Um, we lost $25,000 of our savings in a matter of seconds. And it's not going to be replaced from a lawsuit as I had hoped cause of the fire was not something that is it was not anything other than bad luck. This year has been this year has been the hardest year of my life. And it's not over yet. But I have great hope going forward that the blessings of outpouring of blessings that God has promised me will come and I don't mean financial blessings I mean blessings of love and Christ and community and support if there is anything I have learned this year money doesn't mean a hill of beans 
Out of respect for my children, I will not go into the details of why we are getting divorced. But I will tell you this. I have prayed long and hard about the steps that we have moving forward. And I have felt healthier mentally, physically, spiritually, everything. Help, healthier than I have felt in many years. I am really nervous about the months and years ahead, but I have God walking with me every step of the way. I have my beautiful children and I have a family that loves and supports me. That's all I need. I'm asking for respect of my privacy and my children's privacy. Um, I will not answer any questions. My girls are doing wonderful. They're handling everything very well. Some things that are coming up for me, um, the move back to home, or what is home for us. I'm hoping to start seminary in the spring, if they have a spring semester start. Um, it'll be a two-year program, so I'm hoping to start seminary in the spring. Divorce is hard. Divorce is ugly. but handled correctly. We'll still be ourselves at the end of it. And we're still gonna be two parents, two four beautiful children, and two people that shared 18 years of their life together. Always, it is a blessing to have you in my life and today in thy most sacred place that I have, my place of sanctuary. I hope to bring you just joyful videos from this point forward. This has been a really hard year and you've walked it with me. you enough. So until next time, which will be my first single mom video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.